This is Keith Comstock, Executive Director of Extreme Habitats Institute. Earlier this year, our team traveled to one of the most remote construction environments in America, Nome, Alaska. A true collaboration between the City of Nome, Extreme Habitats Institute, and Penn State University, this effort was funded by many participants, including the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and the Denali Commission. What you're seeing here is more than just concrete being printed. It's the start of a new approach to building resilient, affordable homes for Alaska and Arctic communities worldwide. Every step of this project pushed us to learn. The barges and aircraft deliveries, local aggregate and materials testing, the weather and weather delays, and the on-the-ground training with local crews, all of it helped us understand what 3D concrete printing really looks like in the real world, far from highways and typical support structures. Together, we proved that local materials can work. We trained teams across multiple disciplines. We printed through rain, wind, ice, cold, and the unpredictable reality that is Alaska. And the results? A clear vision for how 3D printing can lower costs, speed up construction, and bring durable housing to communities that need it most. Over the next few weeks, we're sharing the full story, the successes, the challenges, and the lessons learned and known. Follow us as we explore what it takes to build the future of Arctic housing layer by layer.